How's it going everyone? In today's video, we are talking about everything new on iOS 18, all the new changes that got added this week for iOS 18.1 beta 2 developer beta. So if this is your first time watching this video, the compatible devices are as listed right here. In other words, if you have an iPhone SE or newer, you're in good hands. And this also includes the iPhone XR. Now for the Apple intelligence, you need to have an iPhone 15 Pro version, the max or the regular size, and will also be compatible on some Macs with the M1 or newer, as well as iPads. So here's what's new, and let's start off with the home page. Whenever you customize your apps and edit and tap customize, your icons will actually save on that wallpaper. So right now I have dark mode selected on this one as an example, and we lock our device, go into our wallpaper library. If we select something else, and we go back to our home, the app tint is saved on those wallpapers. So that's pretty cool that it saves across. And this also includes the larger icons if you have large icons selected on certain wallpapers. Next new change can be located in Control Center because some of the icons has also been updated as well. They've been revamped, but a new toggle that they added is the Bluetooth control. That's now you can actually have Bluetooth as a little toggle for your Control Center. And then what was originally added on the public beta is now also available on the developer beta, and that is by tapping edit. You now have an edit page tool right here. And then if I go back and switch to a wallpaper theme that has just standard icons enabled for dark mode, the control center now follows the dark mode icons, and Apple added more dark mode icons as well. Now the music app. The music app, when you launch it, there's now a new new tab right here where previously it used to just been called browse so now it got renamed to new then other new changes can be located in safari when you launch safari what was added on the public beta is now available here in the developer beta where you can actually add distracting items hide distracting items i'm sorry and then by enabling this to select a distracting item you want to remove hide and it vanish just like that a great tool to have if you're trying to take a screenshot and you're trying to remove some ads from an article you're trying to see and share with somebody else. Now, aside from that, and then in terms of Apple intelligence, the Siri animation also has been redesigned. It's more responsive, more quicker to activate than previously. And then if you have the double tap to enable to tap to Siri, that also has been updated where it's more unlikely to easily falsely activate it like previously sometimes i would just tap here and it'll activate but now it really re requires you to start tapping on it to get access to this and then if you go in settings and go into apple intelligence and siri in the type and talk to siri section there's now an actual toggle where you can enable that or have that disabled and the thing i noticed when actually using this type to siri is when i'm actually typing to somebody the right tool actually it does pop up a lot quicker than previously, which is pretty useful. And then if you go into your iPhone settings and we go back to our home page right here, by tapping on your profile in the Apple account section, if you tap on your iCloud, on the very bottom right here, they're now updated with the new dark mode icons for your iCloud settings. And then if we go all the way back in the general tab, scrolling down where it says autofill and password has a new icon. Well, if you go into our iPhone storage section and we go all the way to the very bottom, we now have a new section right here for your hidden apps. And by tapping on here, we'll require Face ID to have access to it. So a great security protocol from preventing from somebody uninstalling some of these apps that you selected to be hidden. Now it's locked in its own section. And now in terms of security improvements in the Wi-Fi, right above the Wi-Fi address, there's a private Wi-Fi address and you can have it rotate now or fix or turn off, easily making it harder for your ISP to track you or track the device that's using the network. Now, in terms of CarPlay, the CarPlay Siri animation has been fixed. Now, Apple Intelligence actually goes all the way around the display and the capability to record media and the capability to record from your iPhone while you're listening to your music using CarPlay no longer will pause the track. That's been resolved. And there's now a new Siri icon on your device whenever you activate Siri while using CarPlay. But other than that, those are the new changes for iOS 18. Unfortunately, this Apple Intelligence is still the same Apple Intelligence we had in the past. It's not the very advanced intelligent Apple Intelligence. That doesn't, that's not out yet. Maybe in a couple of weeks or months. Maybe the next beta update 
who knows? But something that is coming soon is driver license support for Apple Wallet in the state of California. So if you live in California like I do, now it's a good time to actually download the DMV app and set it all up so when it becomes available, it will be a simple, easy tap to add to Apple Wallet. So yes, California finally is receiving the digital driver license, which is something I've been waiting for ever since a year and a half, I want to say, maybe two years. It's been something that was teased a lot, but yes, it's now finally coming to California. I have a link to the DMV app, which will guide you on how to set it up. So when it becomes available, it's again, it'll be, it'll be a simple tap to add to your Apple wallet to have that virtual digital wallet. But right now it's, there is a digital driver license you can add, but it's only through the DMV app which works perfectly fine. And I've been using it for quite a while now. So set it up and then set up the Apple wallet when that becomes available. And in terms of you have to be on iOS 18 beta of some sort to have access to this. No, uh, it should be compatible on existing iOS 17 for more updates as well as iOS 18 developer updates. So you don't have to be on the beta or developer beta to have access to that digital wallet. Now, in terms of glitches, I actually haven't really ran into any glitches on this. So if you experience any bugs on your side, feel free to comment down below. But from my end, everything works pretty well. I have noticed a increase in battery life from the past four days of me using this developer beta. So I thought that was kind of interesting to share with you guys. But share me your thoughts on what you've been experiencing with this developer beta. Right now, my iPhone 15 Pro is running fine. And I think it's because it's more optimized on the 15 Pro models than other iPhones. Again, share me your thoughts if you can. Then recently, there was a rumor floating around that Apple Intelligence will require like a monthly subscription. Uh, again, these are all rumors, but there has been new reports saying that this won't happen. According to Mark Gurman, who's like an inside leaker, he's been leaking a bunch of stuff all the time. I don't know how he does it, but most of the time his leaks are pretty consistent. But he reported that yes, there will be a subscription, but it won't happen until the next following year or next year or so until Apple intelligence is actually fine tweaked to the point where it's optimal all the time, I guess. Uh, so I'm, I'm personally, I'm not expecting Apple to be charging a subscription for Apple intelligence. So long as you own their device, it could be free for like the first two years of owning a new iPhone. What's that? Uh, what Apple does with their satellites. So it could be a similar subscription service like Apple satellite service when you're off the grid. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. But again, it's all too close to too soon to really assume these type of things since nothing's actually coming out from Apple's mouth themselves. So I'm just going to leave it as that as a quick little update right there. Now, aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching. That is all. If you'd like to watch the complete guide of all the new ins and outs in Apple CarPlay, you can go ahead and check out that video over there where I go through all the new ins and outs in CarPlay for iOS 18.1 beta 2. Thank you so much for watching.